Welcome back everybody and if you're new, welcome. My name is A-S-H-L-I-E and please don't forget to subscribe to me. Today I'm trying out some new makeup. I've never tried at all from this brand. It is from She Glam. I got a liquid blush, a lip tint lipstick, and a lip liner. Before I get to the products, I'm gonna do a quick face beat. I'm gonna go in with my Milani Supercharged Face Primer almost out of this product it's just so good i warm it up and apply it everywhere on the face don't mind my nails please don't look it's been rough i actually did do my nails last night but i'm a picker so you know it it happens today i went to my brother's house he had a gender reveal and i had a feeling they were gonna have a boy they already have a boy that's four years old and they're having a boy I'm so excited. I don't know how it would have turned out if they're having a girl because my little nephew was like, mm -mm, all I want is a brother. Then for foundation, I'm going with my Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. It has hyaluronic and it is very long wearing. I would say it's about medium coverage, but I love how dewy and hydrated it makes my face look. I've been on this new kick of only using beauty blenders like these little sponges instead of brushes because with the brushes I'm just getting so so many lines it's driving me crazy this you don't get any lines you're able to just press it right in the skin you can even drag it down yeah I'm gonna cover these suckers right now I did do my eyes for the party but I didn't do a face which is perfect because I had a feeling I was going to do a video anyway but it all worked out it all worked out oh I just absolutely adore this foundation I could not go without it in my makeup collection just makes it look like your skin but way better today for my eyes I actually used this L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow. It's this little single. It's in the color 892 Amber Rush. It is so gorgeous. I have been loving it. You could tell how much I love it. It's like a nice gold champagne color. It's just a one and done. I rub it right on my eyelid, blend out the edges a little bit with a brush, and call it a day. Sometimes when I'm just doing a quick look, I'll just do one single shadow, and that's it. I haven't used cream products in a while, so I think I'm gonna do that today. Hopefully everyone's new year of 2022 is going really well. I can't complain so far. Work is as interesting as ever, but we're on a whole program lockdown, so I'm kind of just sitting at my desk doing hella nothing. So I definitely can't complain. One of the teachers they're out right now because they have COVID, but they're doing okay. I know I check up on her every day. Thank God. Worries me. I had it back when it first came out. It wasn't fun. It was definitely kind of like the flu, but a little worse. No, because it's really hard to breathe and everything. You kind of get congested. Your chest gets super duper tight. It wasn't fun. Just doing two layers of this. A little extra coverage today. Because I feel a little extra, so I'm a little extra coverage. As I can't hold my beauty blender here. I'm going to do the best I can this year with, you know, getting as many videos out there as I can. During the week, it's a little hard because I do have a full-time job. And I go to my parents, you know, my mom's house, I should say at least twice a week. I like to go there for a few hours. I get to visit my family, my grandparents. I cook dinner. I usually don't get home till at least like super late, probably about nine o'clock at night. So this girl's tired as hell by then. But I will do it as much as possible. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. It's supposed to be nice and full of hella coverage. Look at all this. I haven't been breaking out. I've had this for a week. I have like little itchy spots. It's driving me crazy. Put the layer. Full layer. 
down my nose. Rot hair, rot hair, rot hair. Okay, a little bit of that. Okay, and then I take the same beauty sponge, or for the eyes, if you want to get a little closer, they have little, they have little guys as well. So I only use the little guy for under the eye because you can get right up in those crevices. And then I use the bigger sponge for the rest of my bite. I'm trying to go to my grandparents at least twice a week. I cook, I try to visit them. Now they're not getting any younger. My grandma's going through a lot of depression right now. So I'm just trying to keep her happy and do the best I can. There's only so much I can personally do, but I try to always keep making her smile and I just do the best I can do and help out around the house. So there's a little bit less she has to worry about. My birthday is actually next weekend, so I'm going to have a party there. So during the week, I'll help her vacuum, clean up, dust, do as much as I can. My mom will help because it's my little brother's birthday. We kind of throw three birthdays in at once because mine's on the 22nd. My little brother's on the 24th. And then I have my uncle, which actually is before us on the 19th. So we're going to do a three for one. It'll be fun. Again, with the same sponge, I'm gonna go in with my number seven powder. It is just so good. Mine's in the shade Medium Perfect Light Press Powder. I just swirl her around, get some powder, and press it right into my skin. Even under the eyes, I just look up so I can get as close as possible to the eyeball. Just my chin. And around my nose. I'm not doing anywhere else because I I'm gonna try to use cream products today and if I put powder on it it's not gonna sit well on top of powder. I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs Glow Away in Tantastic. It's number 14. It's like a bronzer stick. I don't know what it is but me and makeup products I can't ever open them. I don't know if I'm just that stupid. I don't know. I just have so much issues all the time. It's like a nice huge stick. I like to go in with my e.l.f. My e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. It has a little guy on this side and the bigger edge. I just go right on top, pick up a little product, and go from the ear and then out. Most of the product will be where you started. So I tap it down a few times and I start working it out. I like to do a little bit and work my way up. I don't like to use too much at a time. It's easier to build up product than take away. Remember that. It smells just like coconuts. Mm. Smells so good to know me. Smells so good to know me. So good to know me. I like when products smell like that. Sometimes I'll use this little guy. Just sculpt up my nose a little bit. Right under here. And the bigger side and press it out. Then I'll go up here. A little bit around the forehead. The beautiful sun-kissed look. So yeah, my mom first actually got me these products as a gift because she spoils me. And she was telling me at first it was from Shein. I was like, oh, I've never tried products from there. And then I got it and I saw it was from She Glam, which I don't think I've actually ever heard of that before. So I'm really excited to try these products out. They're actually pretty popular, so I don't know how I've never heard about it before, but they had really good reviews. So I'm pretty excited. Yeah, knowing so many people this year that are going to be giving birth, Kind of makes you want a little baby. I'm getting that little baby fever going on. Maybe one day. I'm going to be 29 this month. So I told my mom, maybe in my low 30s, I'll start thinking about her again. Oh no. Just not ready yet. I'm just not ready yet. 
I love my own time. I love to spend all my money on my makeup and it's just who I am right now. Okay, I got this liquid blush. It's in the shade Rose Ritual. This blush is $5, which is a really, really, really affordable price. The packaging feels like plastic. It feels nice and light. Oh, this is so cool. Look at the tip. Do a little swatchy swatch. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that a lot. It's almost like a corally pink. I really like that a lot. And it blends out super, super easy. And it's easy-ish to take away or make it more of like a neutral color. So this says, like a drink for your cheeks, our Luxe Liquid Blush adds a bloom of beautiful color and nourishing ingredients like vitamin C to your complexion. Its gel cream formula and sponge tip infuses color effortlessly into your skin for a plumping and so on pretty effect. But I like this that it has like a little sponge at the tip of it. I'm gonna take some of this excess off because it comes out with a lot of product. I'm just gonna do a couple little dots right here and see what it looks like. I want to use a sponge. Maybe I'll use this new one I didn't use yet. Just tap it out real quick. It does blend out really nice, I have to say. I'm going to add a little bit more because it tends to wipe, tend to dab most of it away. I don't know how quick it dries down, so I want to kind of get in there a little quick. I like this little pink tint it has going on. It's like very natural. It blends out super nicely. I like that a lot. But again, it's more on the natural side. So if you want more color, you're going to have to go in a couple times or three. It's not like Rare Beauty where you can only put one dot and then I'm scared to blend it out because it's just hella pigmented. This one, you don't have to be scared to use it. It's actually very beginner friendly and just start blending it out. Probably use a brush too. You don't have to use a sponge. It's doing a really good job. It's not moving any of the foundation or anything like that. Let me do the other side really quick. So far, I really like it though. I mean, it, the color is just gorgeous. It's the perfect shade for either adding a lot of color or just a beautiful natural either way. Because you can either build it to make it more color or keep it natural. So you have that choice. Some blushes, you don't have that choice and it dries down too fast to make a choice. I'm gonna take the brush. I'm gonna take the beauty sponge that has the foundation on it and just do one last go around so there's no harsh edges. So I really like that. It's just a perfect, beautiful wash of color. So for five dollars, definitely worth it. I've never been a fan of liquid highlighter, I must say. So on that note. I'm gonna get a bigger brush and go back in with my number seven. Just set all of that down. You could also go in with a powder blush and set that if you want, but I'm not. I don't need more pink. I didn't, I just wanted it more natural. But if you wanted a different pink and to set it with the powder blush, you can. I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. I'm panning right now. The LA Colors Highlight and Shine Bright. It's the whole dollar. Love it. It's just so perfect. It is super blinding. Get some of that just right here, right here. My absolute favorite brow product I've been using is from Uma Beauty. I got this from Walmart, I believe it was $8. You get one side, it has a really thin pencil. And then on the other side, you twist her right off and it's your gel to lock it in place. It is just so perfect. The spoolie is the most precise small spoolie I've ever had. So you, it's harder to mess up and it's so easy to use. So $8, super worth it. Just in case you want to run. For setting spray, I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Let that dry down for a uno momento. And the lip tint shade I got is Birthday Lips. 
for some reason I couldn't find that on their website anymore. I don't know if they're still selling it, but I know they have a ton of other lip tints. This lip tint is this color right here. It's like a lip gloss tint. It's like the most, I can't talk today. It's like the most beautiful natural lip tint and it's only $5. It's a high gloss lip color on lock around the clock. Okay. It's ultra lightweight, never sticky and moisturizing formula. Keeps your lips smooth, supple with a lasting color that settles into your lips for a natural look. It's true hue fully develops and reveals itself after just a few minutes and lasts up to five hours because it reacts to your unique pH. Enjoy a custom shade just for you. It is waterproof and it is a high shine finish. And we got this She Glam Lip Pencil. It's a $2.50. I'll show you this color. It is a natural color as well. They just pair together beautifully. The color is Concrete Jungle. You can use this for just a liner or you can shade in your lips for a lipstick as well. You can line, fill, and shade your lips with a super easy to use lip pencil. It's highly saturated color with a smooth mousse-like texture that glides on and dries velvety matte. It's creamy formula, doesn't tug or smudge either, so your pout stays precise and perfectly all day long. It does glide on pretty easily. You can tell it's definitely matte, but at least it's it's soft. It's definitely that moussey feel. You don't have to press down hard at all. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Put some lip tint on and then I'll go back in with the pencil one last time. Almost feels like a watery, wet texture. Almost like just a gloss. And they don't have any good smells. It kind of smells a little chemically. Like MAC lipsticks are probably my best smell is just like cupcakes. Like I just want to eat them. This doesn't have any amazing smells, but it is beautiful natural tint and it has that little shine it is beautiful it feels very hydrating like it keeps the moisture locked in it doesn't dry down super fast so i hope it stays that way because it does say it takes a few minutes for the ph and everything in your lips to kick in for the color to set and settle so i'll wait for that let you know how that goes i hope you enjoyed today's review I can't wait to see you all on my next video. I hope you will subscribe and see more of my future uploads. Bye, y'all.